I'm legit actually kind of scared. Like. Really serious for yeah. me. Yeah, this yeah. is it's freaky. Like an actual priest is coming. It, All right, so we'll just have them go through the whole house and then probably up to the rooms. This will like cleanse us. I like maybe like I'm hoping. You know, like I think that by doing this, like I'll feel safer. I'll just feel safer. Could be an expert and could tell us exactly what yeah, yeah. not to do and what to. What do if do. he says that there's something in the house? Like what if one of us brought something back here? Or something happened We're here. We're moving. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I'm well, is it, well, isn't his job to get rid of it? So, like, we would be okay? No. I don't know. I don't think his job is to get rid of it. I think it's, oh. I think, oh, yes. I think his job is to detect it and then also do whatever he can do to prevent them from But if it's, like, a bad enough spirit, then it's, like, possible that that won't work. You know? Okay. Like you would have to go even more. Serious. I guess we'll, I guess we'll ask let's him. Let's hope that's not happening. Yeah, yeah, I guess let's, we'll, I okay. guess we'll ask him what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, all right, but he should be here soon. All right. And then, yeah, let's, let's see what happens when we have a priest in our house. Let's feel safe again. <laughs> I believe his name is Justin. Jerry? All right. Justin, Justin, yeah. All right. Yeah, he's right there at the gate. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you guys? Pretty good. So I know I already asked you if I could film, but I just want to double check that's okay. It is a-okay. Okay. okay. Right, man. My name's Corey. I'm Deacon Justin. Nice to meet you, man. Pleasure. Colby. Corey Colby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sam. Sam, nice, nice to meet, meet you guys. You. Pleasure. How we going, man? Elton. Elton, oh, we spoke on the phone. Yes, sir. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Yeah, I'm so late. Yeah, this is, this is one of the latest house calls I've done. Did you say your name is... <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? It's the latest house call. It's like one of the latest he's done. Well, everyone was busy today and he said he could come, so I was like, okay. <laughs> Alright. Very nice. Thank you. This is weird. Uh, let's get started. Um, who's been having the most interactions with things going on? Probably Corey. Corey? I mean, like in the past, a lot of stuff has happened. Yeah. Yeah. Stemming from when you were a child? Yeah. yeah. Really? That back that far? It's because I was pretty stupid when I was younger. Okay. And I played with some stuff that was pretty stupid. Like magic or like Ouija, Ouija boards. boards. Ouija boards. Literally haunted my house growing up that I grew up in. And so I do you feel like it followed you here? I don't know if I want to answer that. Wait, no, on well, if there's any time to answer it is now. Like this is what he does. I don't know. You know, I also don't know. Demons is kind of the biggest statement we use for anything that could be a poltergeist, it could be a ghost, whatever. Yeah. It's like our broad umbrella. Yeah. They'll get attracted to a person, usually when they're a child, when they're playing with something they shouldn't have. Yeah. Whether it's tarot cards, whether it's a Ouija board, um, and that'll stick with you for a long time. Did you sleepwalk as a kid? Did you have any sleep paralysis as a kid? Like four to six times a month? For about really? a that often? Yeah. Well, that's usually usually that's when oh the like the spirits kind of. What did I? What have I? What have I crap, dude? I have told I have told a lot of you guys that I used to have. Sleep no, I know, I know. Yeah. You told me about that. And I used to sleepwalk too as a kid. So what happens is you're kind of like split the difference between realms at that point. So we'll, yeah. we'll say like the dark side that's kind of yeah. the, the ghost side, the devil side, whatever you <sighs> want to call it. When you're in that sleep paralysis, when you're in that sleepwalk, you're actively like riding that line. Today, just napping alone I, I had sleep paralysis twice so I woke up once and I couldn't move and I fell back yeah. asleep and I woke up again I'm not even joking yeah he literally, literally just told me that like I told him that like ago. 30 minutes ago because it had happened literally it was weird because it hadn't happened for months like I mean I've well, here's a, it, I mean these things are very real and a lot of people kind of like cast them aside and say oh you know like, no, no. you left the, the cabinet open it's very clearly you didn't leave the cabinet open there's noises there's things going on so we don't take any of it lightly. Uh, we'll just start. We're gonna just do some basic stuff to basically cleanse your house, tell the spirits to go away, um, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, cool. Okay. Okay. Here in the kitchen. Here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We we'll started some videos last week. That's yeah. All the things oh falling. yeah, and last was night too. Ouija board. Yeah. Last night, yeah. Actually, this was the room. Yeah, last oh, night. Was oh, the Ouija board's out. Oh, about. it's still literally just chilling yeah, right there. Guys, don't mess with things you don't know. A lot of people attract spirits when they go find a spell book mm -hmm. that they just think, oh, it's a pretty book, and then they'll recite some spells and 
Yeah. Uh, next thing they know, they're you know sleepwalking. They're having all these same things. Um, sage is your most common, clearer. Okay. It's called smudging. You're just kind of going to waft it around. You're going to keep the embers going. Perfect. Right over the Ouija board. <laughs> it's probably the best place. One of you will end up having to get rid of the Ouija board. Mm -hmm. Or okay. just put it back in his box and... Uh, yeah, Elton. Elton. Would you like to? You. you want me to get rid of it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Right now? Yes. Okay, should I just put it in the trash? No. Just, <laughs> I mean, can he throw it away? Or is that... Yeah. Absolutely. I, I would 100% throw it away. I would not keep it in the house. I would We're going to put it... Outside it for right now. Okay. Either keep these on you, or you can hang them on your door, or just somewhere in your rooms. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah across my room, actually. Dude, that's almost... Perfect. Perfect. Oh, yeah. It's... Now, do you think... It doesn't need to be a fancy cross. Any type of cross will do. He has one. Matthew. Chapter 13, verse 43. But when the unclean spirit has gone out of a man, he roams through dry places in search of rest and finds none. Then he says, I will return to my house, which I left. And when he has come to it, he finds the place unoccupied, swept and decorated. Then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more evil than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man becomes worse than the first. So shall it be with this evil generation also. So what happens is, if anything happened to you as a child, mm -hmm. you have attracted him into your house. And it couldn't have been, it might not have been your fault, something could have happened in your house as a kid, but now this spirit has, for whatever reason, yeah. attached we, himself to We you. built the house, and then did that, and then the house got haunted. You're just gonna put this on every door or doorway. Okay. So close your eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless this house, and may only positive energy enter this house. Okay, and we're just gonna continue to do this as we go throughout the house. I'm not getting a lot here. Anything in the bedrooms? Anything been going on? Yeah, actually there's been some really weird stuff going on upstairs. Like, uh, we've been hearing a lot of noises, and then Circa, has been barking oh, I forgot at about Sam's that. door at like three o'clock in the morning, just randomly. Okay, let's but, go check that out. And randomly one night, it was 3 a.m., I walk into the hallway and she's just staring at his door barking. And I'm not home at the moment. Yeah, and then actually the next day, his door and the other door were both open and nobody was home to open them. Aaron and my room's over here and the other one's empty. And obviously, bathroom. So. Um, this is a lot of empty space, too. Um, I would try to hang more on the walls and make the space more your own. Yeah. And then I'll tell the spirits that it's it's not their place. The, really? Yeah. yeah that's super so the more you can you can make a house and identify the house as yours, it's going to signify to the spirits that it, they don't belong there. That's weird. I did because... not ever know that. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm legit, legit actually kind of scared. Like, I, I was really skeptical before, but now I'm getting less and less skeptical. Yeah, yeah man, that stuff's real. Oh, the dark one? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that wasn't a good noise. That wasn't a good noise. Because mirrors are doorways, like gates to the other side. So if you have a mirror that's directly looking at you, Bruh. they're going to be able to see you while you're asleep. Okay. That's a mirror? Cool. I, uh, I don't have a mirror in my room at all. have been falling off. All right. All right, someone's taking the mirror down tonight. I would read your idea. <laughs> this room, Ben. Uh, uh, she's room. actually... Circa's like stared at this room but never barked. And then the door has opened by itself, but that's about it. Doesn't seem too bad. Which one's the master? Uh, the one, that's Corey's room. Yeah, it's and got the most stuff going on. But even just standing at like the entrance inside, would be good enough or would you be yeah, able to walk through the... Alright, hey, anyway. Let me show the shoes. Hey baby. Hey, baby. It's alright, really? Yeah, and then if we could just be right here. Just yeah, throwing wise, right. you know. Sure. You tell me where to go? Um, yeah, this is super bare. Yeah, you're gonna... Yeah, um... 
This fe- the, uh, it feels weird. Um, what the fuck is that? Can you just stop recording? No, I stopped recording? Yeah, please don't. Okay. Um, look, I, I'm not gonna like, usually when we get called, they just call us out, we kind of go through the motions, we burn some sage, we put the oil on the doorways, and we're fine. This feels really weird to me. Okay. Um, I would I would say have Pastor Vincent come out mm-hmm. during the day, and he'll do a, a, like a full, basically, exorcism on your room. Um, I do. I just don't feel super comfortable going there. Okay. You are getting that information that, that there's a demon nearby, that there's a spirit, that there, there's something weird that you don't have to pay me for tonight. Um, I'll, I'll have Pastor Vince come on you. I would probably not sleep in that bedroom. Okay. If at all possible. Okay. Um, I would keep your cross on. Okay. And um, yeah, just keep the stage burning. Probably this with you. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't. No, it's, um, uh, it's okay. What do you feel? I don't know what to say, so. That's weird. I, I, I don't know. It's something that's been following him since a child. You're looking more at a demon than a ghost. So a ghost will be if a murder takes place in a house. You know, that soul gets trapped there. Then you're looking at a demon. But that's, I don't know, because I, I honestly haven't had much like insanely stuff happened to me since I have left that house. Uh-huh. You know, because I left that house about two years ago, uh-huh. and that's when I pretty much moved out here. What could I do? Okay. Stick to everything we've already gone over, for sure. Okay. What will he do that you can't or don't want to? He said, like, exorcism. He, he will have to perform a full exorcism. On the room, not on me. It'd be on the room. I'm sorry, did he just say you can perform an exorcism? An exorcism. Exorcism. Yeah. That's a real thing. It's not just in movies. This is why I don't like... <clears throat> no, the, the, movie, the exorcist is based off of a true story. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Didn't know any of that. 100% believe in God, talk to God and pray. Do you think that I'm okay? Do you think that... You know, I would I'm say, okay? I would say, I don't think you're in that much danger. Okay. Uh, I would say, keep running the cross, keep praying. Okay. Um, but if you're now starting to hear voices, it means the the demon's getting stronger. Okay. And getting Did it go out? Okay. To, it's just uh, barely okay. smoking. Um, we'll light it again. Okay. And at that point, I didn't think it went know, We just want to not get to that point. So okay. as soon as you get back in town, I would have this pastor to come out. We will do that, correct? As soon as I get back, you'll help me set that up. So what do you want to do tonight then? I'm sleeping downstairs. I'll pray. I'm okay. I'm safe. You know. I'm saved, so yes, for sure, I'll keep that. And then as soon as I get back, we will definitely call and have that done, because I'm not gonna let you know a demon interfere with my life or anything. So we will definitely fix that as soon as possible. This is like really serious, dude. Okay. Well. Okay. Yes. Thanks for that information. I got. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't have any more news, like I said, this is it. to the history of the house? No. It was empty for three years before us, which is really, really weird. It was empty for yeah. three years? It was literally, remember that's why he said the pool heater had been running three years, the AC had that's been running. Right. The house was empty, like that's this right. house, like this is a pretty nice, it was empty for three years. Yeah, you might want to look into the, uh, the history of the home and see if anything bad happened here. I explained why he was willing to rent it to five hoodlum YouTubers. Right? Or if he's not telling us that they left and we're the only ones that still had our bid in. He, he told me the, the day that we went, wanted to rent, he was like, Randy Jackson. Was yeah. There and he said, I got bad vibes from that. Holy house. shit. Do you remember that, night? Do you remember that story? I do. With I Yoram. do. That's right. It was the night that we first came to look at the house. And he wouldn't even come inside. And he, he sat in his car and he said that the house gave him really bad vibes. Randy Jackson, that's in. right. He literally refused to come. Holy. But like, yeah. Wow. That wow. Comes together. Do you think that means anything right there? That absolutely. I feel like it means something. <sighs> okay. That's interesting. 
forgot about that until just now. Where's the sage? Do I think you might increasingly hear more voices and get talked to and uh, I think that's definitely possible. Because of this, what Wait. happened tonight, now I'm good, it's gonna happen more. If you're starting to hear like whispers when you said you were recording that video, yeah. um, that's the demon trying to talk to you, that's it getting shot to Do you wanna hear it, by the way? Sure. Actually Do you have it? Yeah. Play it, play it. It's super fast, it goes, you're crazy. Listen. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Where is this, where is this footage, where is this audio? This, Where in the video is this? This is when the camera's sitting and I'm just right there. Yeah, if it's at the point where it's coming through on the white noise, then it, it's... That's been happening since my old house. I used to have my friends spend the night when I'm like 13, 14 years old. I'm like, yo, check this out. I'll put my phone in the hallway for 30 seconds, click record, pull it back. We'll hear someone talking on it. Did it actually just get really hot in here? Because I'm literally just sweating. I couldn't do more help. Um, keep the crosses on, keep the stage burning, and... Uh, Just, just call us again and uh, Pastor Vince will come out. Okay, I'll walk you out, I guess, and walk him out. Yeah. I don't know. You okay? Yeah. You don't look okay. Uh, you want to do? Oh. You do not look okay. You do not look okay. And it's supposed to come over. Okay, that didn't. That, that didn't. That didn't go any. Any. He like, took off. He huh. took off. Oh, that was his truck, huh? Yeah, he. I didn't know what car he was in. Left in like 10 seconds. <clears throat> Jeez. Okay, real talk. Like, I don't even know if I want to post any of this. Oh my god. Why? That's completely. Because it, it was. It wasn't. I mean, I'm still rolling, but it, like it wasn't any, it wasn't like, it was serious. That's terrible. Like the whole thing was like serious and then it got really serious. And like now I feel bad for all the times and all the jokes I make. Do you guys think I'm okay? Why did he take off like that? Why did he take off? Yeah, he did not hear I didn't actually even. And like, you could hear his tires screech. He, That's how did you see? Loud. Whenever we I were talking and like make sure he's not lying because like I asked him I was like is there anything you're not telling me he's like no. he has no reason like when we like were, and here's the other reason why he has no reason like he li like I'm supposed to pay him after yeah I didn't I didn't give he him said not to pay him I think the craziest part is I was watching while we were talking and his hands were like shaking and I was like that's not something a deacon Dude. should do his hands should not be shaking that's insane. That's literally like, I'm not even joking. End the video. You just want to end the video? Yeah. And do what? Like, I'm like being serious though. So. Like, if you just set that up, Dalton, and like, this is all completely real. The good thing is, tomorrow you go home for a couple weeks. True. He literally leaves in the morning. Really? And he didn't take money? Yeah. I will just do it literally right here, like outside the front. It doesn't make any sense. Sam, Colby. I still think you're fine. I think you're completely fine. I think I'm okay too, because nothing's happened in my room. Circa loves my room. But he also, I, he didn't know which room was yours. <laughs> oh my oh gosh. Oh my you gosh. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this I was a prank. <laughs> 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 Oh shit! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> you played that off so well. Oh my god! He literally was inside like so he well. deserved an academy. I am trying to convince myself ways that this is fake. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh man! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Oh! Go! Are you kidding me, man? How good was his acting? Oh, so good. <laughs> you, you got me saying, like, that guy, like, if this is a good prank, I applaud you. You didn't but record, I didn't record that. that. You didn't no. record that. But literally, like, five minutes ago, I was like, I, if this is one of your pranks, you should, do, you deserve to win the prank. Order. Yeah. Awesome. I just spent 20 minutes with my girlfriend. We even tried calling her, her dad. Devin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Devin's dad here. 
I thought it was a prank. It smells like sage in here, guys. <laughs> it smells like Dad a lot of sage. Dad studied theology, and we were calling him, trying to make sure that I'm okay and I'm safe. She's in there trying to give me reasons why this could maybe not be real, and why I, was, I could. I was literally like, I should have asked you some Yo, more questions about religion. My question I would know that is, why the hell did that. we believe that? that? It's a mega that. prank war. Because Under he's fucking what good. Why he's, do we he, is, he is a madman at this. That was. Okay, what you guys, none of you guys know is this all happened today. He knew nothing about anything that we did in here. He learned all of it. While you, literally while you were late, he was sitting in his car studying more and more and more. I was just trying to Google the religion that you were saying. <laughs> I am so Trying to glad. learn more about it to see and learn. I Pastor Vincent, all of that was real. Everything he said was real. No, I looked up. Everything about your room was real. <laughs> I got to I was like, you. You, that was <laughs> No, give it to him. Give it to yeah, him. That was amazing. Amazing. I did Good nothing. Job. I just held a camera and held us and struggled. You knew. I knew the You oh, knew the yeah, yeah, yeah. Cuz Col Colby has this thing where he looks at me when he catches onto a prank and he kind of just does this weird little head turn. <laughs> yeah. And like he did that to me and I just went at him and I was like mm. <laughs> Okay, okay, wait. Let me say one thing. Yes. Explain the the noise on my laptop though. Oh, there's wait. no explanation for that. Explain, so like the sleep paralysis, I'm not joking. Yeah. That's okay. Happened, so okay. yeah, all, all that's true. Like all literally the fact that you touched a Ouija board and all I'm that. I'm not even joking. Like, I, it literally happened today. That's originally he wanted me to get like a 50 year old man to really come in here and just uh, destroy you guys. And I was like, Corey can't take that. Is and that was a good call. Cause I literally spent about 20 minutes <laughs> convincing myself that I'm okay. Okay. And then you know I'm like, okay, you know what? Devin might be right. It could be a little sketchy because we're in LA. You know, it could be a Scam, you never know. So I was like, okay, you know what, guys? I might be okay. And then I get scared. Uh, I gotta give it to you. That was. Oh my goodness. That was very good. And also, Elton's an asshole. See, here's the best part about this is because that was all, you know, a prank, we still don't actually know. I, you know how scared I was. I yeah. literally talked to Devin for like yeah. five minutes about the fact that you drove away so fast when you left. So <laughs> that scared me to death. I'm like, why would he like speed walk to his car and then immediately take off? I had to actually put the camera down for about 25 minutes so that way you guys didn't think that I was still like, yeah. yeah. So bravo, sir, high five. Boom. Ever, ever, I think he gets a fucking high five. I already high five. Well, high five, five on camera, yeah. damn it. Yeah. High five all around. <laughs> oh, <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, if you guys don't know, this is a, a was a YouTuber, is a YouTuber making a come comeback? Back. He's making a Maybe. comeback. I'm forcing you, if this gets a million views, you're ma you're making a Fair fucking enough. comeback. All right, so Justin James Hughes, Justin I'll, James I'll link it up in oh, uh, yeah. something like Please probably a do that. movie. Yes, <laughs> do that. Fuck, I would. <laughs> Pretty intense. <laughs> the prank was still needed. You set like a whole new bar. Whole yeah, new bar. No, it was so messed up. Yeah, bro. it was. After everything that's literally like been going on though. Yeah, like, and then you're gonna do that. Yeah, perfect opportunity. Sound in your video though. Yeah, exactly. True. That's still so. No and all those weird things that happen. And it doesn't and explain my sleep paralysis things. or anything like yeah. that. Or why Randy Jackson didn't buy this house. That yeah, is, that what the hell? That, that, that is so weird. That is 100 percent real. That was you, like yes. Like, oh wait, James, that's a great that was, point. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm not, like, we really yeah, should get... Yeah, you should get a real guy. We should all, like, should everyone look guy. it up together so we all know that no Can't one's we? bullshitting and get a real priest here. Can we? But Dude. what happens if it is the, it, the same thing? <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like and all that stuff, because this really took a lot of... Like it for him, not even for me. He did all the work here. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>